Hi, and welcome to another episode of Latin with Lori. And today I'm going to be teaching you about first conjugation verbs and present tense. If you'll look at the list of first conjugation verbs I have for you, you'll notice that they have one thing in common. They all end in are, 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 are. Now, Latin has four main conjugations when it comes to verbs. And these are first conjugation verbs. So, verbs are distinguished by their endings. So, if you see a verb in its infinitive form, or the simple form, as in to love or to eat, that ends in are, you know it's a first conjugation verb. And if you don't know what to conjugate means, it means to give the forms of a verb in an inflected language, which Latin is, as they vary according to voice, mood, tense, number, and person. So to change from present tense to past tense, you're going to have to conjugate a verb. Let's start with the verb amare, to love, the very first verb I learned in my first Latin class. So now we want to take amare out of the infinitive form to get it into present tense. Now, the way to do that is to take off re to get the verb stem ama. And what you do is you put ama in front of these five endings. But wait, what if you want to say I love? What you do is, instead of taking off just re, the re, you take off all of the entire ending, are, to get am. And you put am in front of o. So now you have amo, amas, amat, amamus, amatis, amant. And note that these blue numbers here represent to the person, so first person, second person, and third person. Now, let's practice using the verb potare, which means to drink. And a derivative of this is the word potable, which is used to describe water safe to drink. Remember, the first step is to take off re to find the verb sempota, and then you get potas, potat, Potamus, potatis, and potant. And if you want to say, I drink, remember to take off the A, then you get poto. And something to note is that dictionaries will often list verbs in their first person present tense instead of the infinitive form. If you'd like, you can practice with the list of verbs I've included in the beginning of this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at lorithelinguist at gmail.com. Wale!